안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And today we are going to dive into the world of building web browser extensions. Making extensions is not only incredibly fun, but super easy to do. You can make browser extensions as side projects just for fun, to build something useful for you and your friends, or you can even build whole businesses around them like many companies have done. By using the browser as a distribution channel, you can reach millions of users worldwide and make an impact on how they interact with the web. Extensions are also super easy to install, which means a higher adoption rate. And they also offer an incredible level of integration. They allow you to enhance and modify your user's browsing experience with features that work seamlessly with the websites they visit. There are two kinds of extensions we can make. Pop-up extensions and code injecting extensions. Pop-up extensions are designed to display a small user interface that appears when the user clicks on the extensions icon on the browser's toolbar. These pop-ups contain a mini web page built with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They are perfect for providing quick access to specific functionality or information without requiring users to navigate away from the current page. On this category, we have extensions like Pocket an extension that lets you save articles, videos, and other content to read or watch later, even offline. Todoist, an extension that helps you manage your to-do list and track your progress. And Forest, an extension that helps you stay focused and increase productivity by using the Pomodoro technique of planting virtual trees and avoiding distraction. Code injecting extensions are where I think things get more exciting for us developers, as they can unleash our creativity. Code injecting extensions modify the content or behavior of a web page by injecting JavaScript, CSS, or HTML into the page. This allows developers to customize and enhance the functionality of websites beyond what the maker of the website originally planned. It opens up a world of possibilities on creating powerful and unique experiences. With code injecting extensions, developers can dynamically modify the page content, add new features and functionality, and even integrate with external APIs. On this category, we have extensions like Adlock Plus, an extension that prevents advertisements from appearing on websites. Interestingly, the company responsible for developing this extension reportedly earned more than 55 million euros last year. A Dark Reader, an extension that allows users to inject custom CSS to enable dark mode on web pages. Refined GitHub, an extension that enhances the GitHub interface with added features, improvements, and time-saving shortcuts for a better user experience. What Font, an easy-to-use extension that identifies fonts used on any web page, giving designers and typography enthusiasts quick access to font information. Honey, a shopping extension that automatically applies coupon codes to your online purchases, saving you money. Grammarly, a popular extension that checks your writing for spelling and grammatical errors, suggesting corrections as you type. And my favorite one, Language Reactor. This extension completely modified the way the Netflix player looks like for people that are learning a second language. It transforms the Netflix player by adding features like dual subtitles, interactive transcripts, and a built-in dictionary. It also allows you to create an account to save words and set your vocabulary level as well. To show you how easy and cool it is to make browser extensions, on this video we are going to make an extension that I named Catify. This extension is going to be both a pop-up extension and a code injecting extension. Here is how Catify works. First, it will show you some cat photos. And when we choose a photo, the extension will set that photo as the background for every website we visit. Let's get started by going to an empty folder and creating the most important file that an extension will have, manifest.json. This file will tell browsers what your extension is about. It will ask for permissions, it will register the code to be injected, and it will register the pop-up to be opened when the user clicks. On our manifest.json, we are going to write the name of the extension, the description and the version, as well as the paths to the icons of the extension on 16, 32, 48, and 128 pixel sizes. This is the icon of the extension that I created before using Mid Journey. 
To test the extension in Chrome, we are going to go to the Chrome menu, then select more tools and click on extensions. Next, we will enable developer mode and click on load unpacked extension. Finally, we will navigate to the folder containing the extension files and select the folder to load it into Chrome. As you can see, the manifest.json file is being read, showing us the name, description, and icon of the extension next to the other extensions we installed before. So far, our extension does not do anything. To change that, we're first going to build the pop-up that will show up when the user clicks the extension icon next to the URL bar. We're going to expand our manifest.json to include this code. Here, we are telling the browser that our extension has an action when clicked. We tell the browser what icon and title to show, and we also provide the path to a file called popup.html that will be inside of a popup folder. That HTML file will have an H1 and many images along with a bit of CSS that you don't need to see for now. After we save that file and reload the extension, we will be able to see the icon and name of the extension on the Chrome toolbar, indicating that our extension is active and ready for use. When we click on the icon, the pop-up that we just created will be displayed. As you can see, we can click on the cats, but when we do, nothing happens. To change that, we are going to import a script called popup.js from our popup.html. Our popup.js will know when an image of a cat is clicked. And when it is, it is going to save that choice on the user's disk. To be able to save data on the disk of the user as an extension, we have to ask for a storage permission. To do this, all we have to do is add the permissions keyword to our manifest. Now, in our popup.js file, we are going to grab all the images and for each one of them, we are going to listen for click events. And when the click happens, we are going to save the image URL to the storage of the browser. Having enabled the user to select a cat and now that we are saving their choice, we now have to write the code that will load that choice and put the cat as a background image of the page. To inject the code on each website we go to, we have to modify our manifest.json file a bit. Here we are saying that on any URL the user goes to, we want to inject the file located on the folder scripts named inject.js. The code of inject.js is super simple. First, we search for the image key that we saved before when the user chose the cat. If we find it, we set it as the background image of the body of the page. We set it to 200 pixels and we make it repeat. And now, after we reload the extension and select a cat, everywhere we go, our code will be injected on every page, which will change the background to the cat. And we're done. We successfully built the Catify extension that will work on Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Opera, Brave, Neverwhale, and even Firefox with a few modifications. As you saw, it is very easy and fun to make browser extensions. We can do almost whatever we can think of on the browser of the user and in the pages they visit as well. I hope you enjoyed following along with this tutorial and learned something new. If you found this video useful, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you have built a browser extension before or if you have an idea of something you want to build. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for absolutely free with me. Onudo, kamsahago, sarangago, daumeboyo, see you on the next one, bye-bye.